So what happens? We drove to the to that beach there. Um, we got out, and I told uh, I told Deepak I'd uh, call him later to come pick me up because I was planning on walking from that piece of the beach back to her hotel, and that maybe on on the beach walk there something would happen between us. We walked out on the the beach. How is she walking? Does she still seem okay to you? Yeah, she seemed okay. Were there other people on the beach? Yes, there were. There were a lot of couples on the beach. Uh, we walked uh, first, uh, I took off my shoes because I got sand in them. We walked right up to the water. And uh, first we sat down there a while, uh, talking and kissing. And then I asked her if she wanted to go back to her hotel. Uh, she said no, she wanted to walk the other way, so the north, to the, towards the north side of the island. And uh, during that walk, there was one other couple that walked by. And uh, so we walked a while till we got about right to the fishermen's huts. And uh, we uh, sat down again in the sand. And uh, we, we kissed, we made out, and yeah. Greg, what do you got? Yeah, so I'm gonna take the approach in this one to treat this guy like somebody I have to interrogate and figure out where I'd focus. And when we talk about interrogation, a lot of interrogation time is spent on micro interview, meaning I look for a baseline, I see a blip, I forget about everything except the blip, I open, I go to interview until I see another blip, and repeat, repeat, repeat until I get to the problem. We don't see Chris do that here, Chris Cuomo do that here, because when he says the, uh, that beach, he closes his eyes and eye blocks. There may be nothing there, but if you leave that unturned, you'll never know. So I'd say, hold on a second, that beach there, uh, what? Let's follow through and understand why he's being nondescript here when he was very descript in the last video, also followed by an apprehensive breath because he pulls in after he says it. Now, I may mean nothing, but it may also mean something important. Which beach? Where? Which strip of beach? There's also a pregnant pause, very pregnant, at that piece, dot, 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 of the beach. Why? And he shifts his head position. Why? I want to know. I want to know, what do you mean by that piece of the beach? Because there could be something else. He was going down the wrong path and used the wrong word, and that creates an anchor that you can come back to later. And then there's classic time hiding here, and uh. That doesn't mean anything happened, but if you leave that gap, you have a problem kissing dot 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 there's a pause again cadence shift means something then i ask her if she wanted to go back another time hide and then i ask her if we kissed and made out there's a flurry of blinks and then yeah he throws his facts away at the end this is going to be one of the most important of all these videos to me i'm going to say number two is my first marker that i would use to go into an interrogation scott what do you got all right to me everything's fine until it gets to that part about one of the couple that walked by because we hear, and so, he starts that stuff. And this is new. There are lots of ands. So he's creating time, and this might be, I, I got the feeling when I first saw this, this is probably where things really happen right there, where where things might have gone sideways for him. Or the if he did, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, if he did kill her, I'd say that's, that's uh, right in that area there, right in that time frame there. His illustrating happens very low. In fact, it happens, it's all in the wrist, and his arm doesn't even leave, leave the chair. He's just giving it one of these numbers as he's talking. Um, and I think what we're seeing, but, but the way he sounds and the way his uh, sentence structure is and the, these long pauses in there, I know he's, what is he? He's Dutch, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's speaking English, but he's Dutch, so that could play into a little bit there. But it sounds like he's walking on eggshells, so he's paying attention to everything he says not just word for word pronunciation, those kind of things. I mean, he's he's paying attention to what he's saying as a whole because he knows he has to be careful in here. It's because right now he thinks everything's fine. Mm -hmm. He's gotten away with it. So all he has to do is just make sure he keeps walking down that 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 little that walking the tight rope the way he should be walking it. So after he talks about making out with her, he's get we see that heavy eye flutter, and then he very quickly says, "And yeah, real quick like that." That lets us know there's an issue there. So I think something must have happened in this little, this little section here, this question down at the beach. I think that that might be where things uh, start happening. Mark, what do you got? Yeah, uh, she said she wanted to walk the other way. So we've got somebody here who wants to go 180 degrees in the opposite direction to the way that she should be going. And there is a micro gesture of approval that he gives on that. Tiny, tiny little eyebrow raise, but go and take a look at it because it is micro small, but 
but because it is so different from what his eyebrows are normally doing, you can see it. So he's looking for approval on this 180 degrees going in the opposite direction that she should, because clearly it's odd, it's bizarre, just like the idea that she might be claiming that she is Hitler's niece. you got Hitler's niece going 180 degrees in the opposite direction to what she should be. Of course, you're going to want approval on that story because clearly it's a little bit... Uh, bizarre. Also, throughout this, the blink rate for me is is right up there. But you know, I'm not the kind of person that counts blink rate. But I know a man who does. Uh, Chase, blink rate. What did what did you think? I hope you have a number. Don't disappoint me. I didn't count in this one. <laughs> I'm, you. I'm you. It is high. It is higher than what we've seen so far, which I would not really consider a full baseline yet. But there's a lot going on in this one, but I'm going to only cover one thing. There's one thing that I continuously teach when it comes to uh, reading behavior. Look for what's missing and then look for what's different. So what's different, what's missing. I would probably do it in that order. The one statement that's vastly different from all the others here is when he's detailing their walk over to the fishermen's huts. And when he says, we kissed, we made out and the only person I know who finishes a sentence with and is Greg. Like every video, I think. <laughs> but there's an eye flutter and there's a loss of fluency, which is when we struggle to produce some accurate words or speech. And these are occurring through. Uh, though at the moment, we're seeing the sharp increase in self-regulation. He's locked himself down, Greg, to your point, I think, or unless it was Scott said that. And there's information missing. And the eye flutter is something we see when somebody's computer processor or what we would call cognitive load increases to some high level. And pretty often we see this when we're processing lots of information in our heads. But sometimes you'll see it in response to someone trying to clear disturbing thoughts or memories that are coming up at that precise moment as they're telling a story. This is a red flag here because it meets the criteria for a red flag, according to me, which means there's a higher potential for it to be deceptive. So there are five C's I'm going to teach you right now. This is the time to pull out your pen to determine if something is a red flag or not in my book. And they're listed uh, here and not in order of priority. I'll give them in, in order of priority a little bit later and you'll see why. Okay. So change checklist, which are just these common behaviors associated with deception or stress, context, the behavior occurs in response to some stimulus, cluster, and it occurred in a group of behaviors that also indicate stress. So those are four of the five C's. In the next video, I'll give you number five. The eyewitness is you. So what happens? We drove to the to that beach there. Um, we got out and I told, uh, I told Deepak I'd uh, call him later to come pick me up because I was planning on walking from that piece of the beach back to her hotel and that maybe on, on the beach walk there something would happen between us. We walked out on the, the beach. How is she walking? Does she still seem okay to you? Yeah, she seemed okay. Were there other people on the beach? Yes, there were. There were a lot of couples on the beach. Uh, we walked uh, first, uh, I took off my shoes because I got sand in them. We walked right up to the water. And uh, first we sat down there a while, uh, talking and kissing, and then I asked her if she wanted to go back to her hotel. Uh, she said no, she wanted to walk the other way, so the north to the, towards the north side of the island. And uh, during that walk, there was one other couple that walked by. And uh, so we walked a while till we got about right to the fishermen's huts. And uh, we uh, sat down again in the sand. And uh, we, we kissed, we made out, and yeah. Hey, sorry, uh, it's storming real bad, so I may lose everybody. It's, so Hattie's scared to death, so she's sitting up here. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm going to see at some point if I can get yeah. Hattie's ears on my head. That's funny. Yeah. Hey, Chase, you know what's funny? My notes actually have exactly yeah, what you said. We, he it says, <laughs> when he's doing that piece. We if you like this video, get the full body language breakdown and analysis on our main channel by clicking this video right here. 